So next question, uh, elbow distraction in her position, arthroplasty may be most appropriate uh, treatment for which of the fouling patient profiles? So we talked about this earlier. This is the younger, higher demand patient. So a uh, 41-year-old male laborer uh, with post-traumatic arthritis. Obviously, the older patients, you'd be more inclined to consider either elbow replacement or some other operation. Uh, but post-traumatic conditions uh, in the elbow uh, are a good, uh, a good indication for interposition. So let's talk about elbow arthroplasty, different forms. We've kind of beaten around this a lot, but total elbow arthroplasty we've talked about. Hemi-elbow arthroplasty, so now we have available radio capitellar replacements. So we do have uh, capitellar and radial head replacements to, to replace the lateral compartment of the joint. Uh, the, in, the, in the world, uh, uh, other than the United States, distal humeral hemi replacements are available. Uh, the FDA has not approved these for use in this country, even though there is abundant data to suggest this has a defined, limited role in certain unreconstructable fractures, and it's unfortunate that we don't have the ability to use that here. We've talked about distraction and reposition, olecranon on faucet debridement, that's the OK procedure, and then radial head arthroplasty, which is predominantly a, a modality used for trauma. We don't really use it much uh, for rheumatoid or uh, other arthritic conditions. Uh, we've talked, this is distraction in her position. We've talked about this previously, reserved for the young active patients, more with post-traumatic arthritis. The biggest problem with this operation is it's, first of all, a very technically difficult operation to do, but uh, instability is the bigger issue. It is less predictable in the short term than total elbow replacement, but I will tell you nothing ruins an elbow replacement like follow-up, particularly in a young patient. So uh, you really want to avoid at all costs elbow arthroplasty in a young active patient. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.